and we're going to move away from the frozen Arctics uh, into uh, uh, the rocks of, uh, of the, under our very feet with Ruth. Is, oh, Ruth's right there, raring to go. Well, there you go, Ruth. Uh, Ruth is a, an, a, a geologist and a geoarchaeologist at UCL and is going to talk to us a little bit about how geology uh, is impacting how we live in London and I'm sure other things at this very moment. Thank you, Ruth. Well, hello, everybody. There's been some amazing talks this morning, so no pressure. Um, and um, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about geology. And can I just have a show of hands? How many of you studied geology at school? OK, that's, that is a lot better than I normally get. But there's only maybe about a quarter of you put your hands up. A lot of us, me included, didn't really have that opportunity. And as a result of that, very few people know about geology. We hear things in the news. We don't understand it. And, and actually, I was really interested with what Josh said. Josh, you mentioned John Ruskin. And Ruskin was interested in geology. He wrote a paper on the formation of the Alps back in the 19th century. And at the time Ruskin was around, geology was a new subject. Everybody was interested in it. And I want us to get back to that. And I got a t-shirt. Unique. <laughs> Oh, sorry. My slides aren't there. Oh, well, never mind. So what I was going to talk to you about was um, climate change. And we all heard about climate change. And um, my talk is about the time period we live in now, which has been named the Anthropocene. And the Anthropocene was defined by geologists because humans are really impacting our planet. This is something that will be seen as a trace in the geological record in 20, 30, 40 million years' time. Um, and I did have a, a graph, but it's not there. But you'll just have to imagine about how climate changed over time. So I'm going to try and add that out. So, right, Danny and Jasmine, you're now. I'm four and a half billion years ago. But I'm going to, I'm going to come to about 500 million years ago. So the Earth formed four and a half billion years ago. This is, this is not a, a linear scale. So 500 million years ago, we're in a period called the Cambrian. And temperatures were high. And over time, probably about 20 degrees higher than they are at the moment. And on the whole, they've stayed quite high as we walk through, walk through the Ordovician, the Silurian, the Devonian, the Carboniferous, the Permian, and running out of space. And we're getting into the Mesozoic, which was the time of dinosaurs. Temperatures are really high then, and that was great because if you're a massive reptile, you need high temperatures. And at that time, temperatures were probably about, you know, we're going, oh, it's a bit hot, it's getting close to 40. On this day, if you were a Tyrannosaurus rex, 100 million years ago, you'd be going, whoa, it's getting close to 80. So 40 degrees higher than they are today. But, you know, reptiles, you need that. And at the time, there were really no mammals like us. There were mammals, but they were little. And they lived in holes of the ground. And they only came out at night because it was too hot. And then as we move through the Mesozoic and into the tertiary, so I'm now 55 million years ago. And 55 million years ago, temperatures were hot and then suddenly they got super hot and over about 2,000 years and all this is not guess, guesses or speculation it's all based on real observations and measurements and data and we know that this time period 55 million years ago temperatures soared rapidly for about and stayed high for about 2,000 years and then everything cooled again and we think the reason for that was a massive release of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. We don't exactly know what it was because there were no major volcanic eruptions at the time. And they're the main reason in the geological past for catastrophic releases of carbon. But what we think it might have been is something called gas hydrates. And these are effectively frozen methane gas, which is deep in the sea or under the ice caps today. Now, 55 million years ago, there weren't any ice caps. Sea levels were at a maximum high. It was pretty hot anyway. But what we think, there was a massive turnover of the oceans triggered by these high temperatures. And it released, over 2,000 years, about half a gigaton of carbon into the atmosphere. 
and temperatures soared. This was after the dinosaurs had gone extinct and mammals were starting to evolve and it destroyed all those mammals that had evolved. It just got too hot for them. And then it started to cool again and the mammals that we descended from, primates, started to evolve. And global temperature has been dipping and getting cooler and cooler ever since. And, you know, this is a nice hot day. It's a bit unusually hot, isn't it, for London, if you've lived in London for a long time. It doesn't normally get as hot as it is today. You should worry about that. Um, but, you know, we humans, we can exist in these temperatures. But what if we did stop pollution, if we stopped using plastic, if we stopped putting so much carbon into the atmosphere, what would happen? Because remember that, 55 million years ago, point, half a gigaton of carbon was going into the atmosphere, changed temperatures, there was a mass extinction. Now we are releasing 10 gigatons of carbon into the atmosphere every year on our planet temperatures are going to start soaring again and we're all going to die <laughs> but I'm going to end on a high note really really good news the planet's going to be okay it will survive but and it'll be better off without us but anyway thank you very much <laughs> thank you thank you Ruth that was um I'm glad you ended on a high. <laughs> Thank you. That was that was. Uh, I think it's 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 that old wake up call that we all need, and I think it's just about the the people in certain places who maybe need it a bit more than we do. Um, but thank you very much. That was um, that was fantastic. So.